So many DIYers out there find two-way lighting a really confusing subject. Today I'm going to simplify it for you. I'm going to make the most simple and easy to follow guide on YouTube so that you can understand, work on and wire up two-way lighting yourself at home safely and correctly. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the DIY guy and today we're looking at two-way lighting. Two-way lighting is where you have two light switches, one, two, that control the light in one room. You'll typically find it at the bottom of your landing or bottom of your stairs or if you've got a room with two doorways, you'll typically find a switch near each doorway. And it confuses so many people when it really doesn't need to. So today we'll run through it, I'll explain how it works and we'll wire it up together on my little rig here that I've built. You've seen the rig before on my plasterboard fitting video. I've adapted it today to make a little false ceiling um, and kind of a little mock setup so that I can show you exactly how the wiring would run in your home. Before we make a start though, please make sure you're a subscriber if you're not already. There's loads more DIY content to come in 2022 and beyond and you're not gonna wanna miss it, so make sure you're subscribed. And if the video helps you today, make sure you hit the like button for me because that helps the video reach and help more people on YouTube. If you are working on a live circuit in your home, make sure you follow the proper safety precautions and isolate the circuit that you're working on. And if you're not comfortable or not competent to do this job, then do call an electrician. That's the safety bit out of the way. Let's make a start. What we'll do first is we'll look at each component in the room so that you understand how the power is delivered from your consumer unit downstairs to each room in the house and how it relates to our two switches in the room that we're working on. So the first component in the circuit in your home will be your consumer unit. Doesn't fit in the box that I made. Consumer unit, you get the point. So from your consumer unit, you'll have a piece of twin and earth that then comes into your first room. So let's mark that as our room. So that's our first room there. You'll then have another wire that comes out of that room and goes into the next room. And you'll have another wire that goes in to the next room. And it'll go on and on and on. And think of it as a bit of a daisy chain. They're just looped together. When you get to the last room, obviously there isn't a cable coming out to feed the next room. Now if you're doing this job in your home, what you'll find is that these wires that feed each light for each room will run either inside a loft cavity or inside a floor space above the room. So they're not gonna be as easy to access as what we've got here. So let's look at the first part of the circuit for the room we're working on, and that's this wire here. It's a piece of one mil twin and earth. It, that means it has three conductors inside. It has a live, a neutral, and an earth wire. Now it's the loop-in wire, so that's the power coming from the previous room, or the consumer unit, if it's the first room on that circuit. It comes in, and it goes down to our rose fitting. You then have an identical piece of wire coming out to the next room. Over here we have a wire that comes from our rose fitting, which I'll show you how to wire up in a moment. And that wire will go down the wall cavity to the first switch. So we'll now move on to the next component in the room, and that is the ceiling rose. You can see here where our three wires that we were looking at above come through the ceiling. And now we'll wire them into the terminals on the ceiling rose, and then we'll head down and wire up the two switches. So first of all, strip all three of these wires back where they come into the room, and then we'll look at where they wire in to the rose fitting. Just strip back all of the conductors, just enough so that we can wire them into the terminals. And if you like these auto strippers, I'll put a link down below in the description. So we're gonna wire this rose fitting up now. Now I'll do this next bit in depth enough for you to follow, but I will breeze over it just a little bit more than normal because I do have other videos on the channel that explain this exact process. And if you're just here to see how to do the two-way light switch wiring and link the two switches up, then you could probably skip ahead a little bit. So the first thing to do is to locate that loop in from the previous room or the consumer unit, and we'll wire that one in first. So separate the wires out so you can work on them. We have our neutral terminals over here, and we'll link all the neutral wires together in that terminal. So put that neutral wire from the loop in into the neutral loop and then in the middle here you can see you've got three terminals those are for the live wires to loop in 
So what we'll do is put the brown wire, which is our live wire, into that loop terminal. That then leaves us with the earth wire, and if you look here, we have an earth terminal. All of our earth wires will need to be wired into that earth terminal. We'll do that up for now, but we're going to be doing the same with each of the other earth wires as well. Next up, find the wire that goes to the next room, so that's the loop out, and we're going to do the same thing with that wire as well. So first of all, let's just go ahead and put the earth in the earth terminal. Sorry if my hands are in the way, it's a little bit tricky. And then go ahead and put the live wire into the loop terminal like we did with the previous one. So that's the brown live wire. And then we'll do the same with the blue neutral wire. Put that into the neutral loop. And then that just leaves us with our switch wire, which goes down to the first light switch. So again, we just need to put the earth wire in first, put that in there with all the others. That leaves us with two conductors inside that switch wire. The first one is a permanent live, so that takes the power down to the switch. That wire needs to go into the live loop, so that's the brown conductor from the switch wire goes into the live loop. That then leaves you with a neutral wire, however that will be turned into a switched live. And that is how you will identify your switch wire. It should have a brown sleeve on it. That is now the switched live, so that is where the power comes back from the switch to the light bulb. That now needs to go into this terminal here, which says live flex. So we put that in there, and do up the terminal screw. Give everything a little tug just to check they're all in there properly and that is the main part of the rose wired up. So grab Aldi a dangly bit and let's zoom in and take a look at how we wire it up. So let's look at the live conductor first. So that's this brown wire here and that needs to meet up with our switched live inside this live flex terminal. So we'll put that brown live conductor from the light bulb into that terminal there. We'll then look at our neutral piece of flex here that goes down to the light bulb and that goes into the neutral loop over here with all the other neutral wires. So that is our rose fitting and pendant light fully wired up and we can now move on to the switch. So once you've located your switch wire, trace that to the back of your first switch, we can go ahead and start wiring the two-way switching up. So obviously there's a surface mounted boxes if you're using a Patras box in a wall or a metal back box, the process remains the same, but obviously there's a few little differences, especially if we're using a metal back box where we'll need to earth the back box itself. We don't need to earth this box because it's plastic, but we will need to earth any metal face plates that we have on the switches. But I'll show you that in a moment. So we'll cut that wire off, giving ourselves enough length to work on. Let me bring you in a little closer. So you can see how to wire it up. So our power comes from our rose fitting down this live brown wire here to the switch. And then this is the switched live. And we need to put a little bit of brown sleeve and on that so that that's clearly marked as a switched live. The earth there, we need to put some earth sleeving on. So this will be our first switch in the two-way circuit. If you look at the switch plate here, you'll see that you have common, you have L1, and you have L2. Now, let me show you where these wires need to go. So first of all, you can see you've got a little earthing terminal here. What you need to do is put the earth wire into that earthing terminal and just nip up the screw so that it's nice and tight and check that the earth wire can't pull out. Take hold of your live wire and place that into the L1 terminal. Take hold of your switched live wire and place that into the L2 terminal. Now you're going to have to undo these again, so don't do them up too tight at the moment because they will have to be undone again. You need to grab yourself a length of three core and earth and that's what we're going to use to link the two switches together. So if you look at the inside of that three core and earth, you can see we've got our three conductors plus an earth wire. We'll need to sleeve that in a moment, but you can see at the moment it's a bare wire. Now we'll use this to link the two switches together. So bring that piece of three core and earth into your switch box. So again, just strip back 
each conductor. The next thing you need to do is locate this grey wire inside of that piece of three core and earth. Place a little bit of brown sleeving on there. We'll then join that grey piece of wire up into the L2 terminal. Can be a little more fiddly because now we have a lot more wires coming into play. But do that up nice and tight and give them a pull just to check that they don't come loose because when you're putting two wires into a terminal like this sometimes you can find that they'll come loose. So next up find the brown wire in our three core and earth and join that up into the L1 terminal on the first switch. So that'll go with the other permanent live. Just like we did before, do them up nice and tight. Next we might as well do our earth wire and just place that earth wire in there with the other earth wire and do up the earth terminal. Again, double check that they're nice and tight. That leaves us with one more wire from our three core and earth and that's this black wire here. Again, we need to indicate with a brown piece of sleeving that that is now a live wire and we need to place that into the common terminal on our first switch and do it up nice and tight. We can now move across to switch number two. So this is the other end of that three core and earth and we'll now wire that into the second switch. As we did before, strip back all of the wires and slide on a piece of earth sleeving. Now just like before, the black wire and the grey wire both need to be indicated as live wires with a brown piece of sleeving. So make sure you put brown sleeving on them. And we're using a plastic face plate and a plastic back box. So we don't need to do anything with this earth wire. For now we'll terminate it in this earth terminal here. Again, if you're using any metal face plates or metal back boxes, make sure you earth anything metal. So now we just need to match these wires up. So that grey wire with the brown sleeve on will go into L2 just like it did before. So undo the L2 terminal and place the grey wire into L2 and just do it up nice and tight. We then look at the black wire with the brown sleeve on and that goes into our common terminal. And our brown wire here goes into the L1 terminal just like it did before. So now I'm going to fix our switch face plates back to the back boxes. I'll show you how to do that. Now you have more wires in a two-way light switch and it can be fiddly to get them back into the back box. So my little tip is to push the wires into the corners and just kind of dry fit the faceplate first and you'll find that those wires will find a home and they will fall into place. It is then as simple as just screwing that faceplate back into place. Sometimes you'll find that the screws provided are too short for whatever reason. You can buy extended screws and just cut them down to the length that you require. So that's job done. Let me show you what the result of your efforts should be. So you should be able to go to one of the switches and turn the light on. You should be able to go to the second switch and turn the light off. And any combination of the two should operate the light. If it doesn't work as you expect, go back, check the wiring, pause the video, and go through each wire step by step. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope it's been really helpful. If it has, smash the like button. I have plans to make the ultimate DIY workbench on the channel very soon. I was going to do it throughout the summer, but if this video gets a thousand likes, my plan is to get that video kicked off within the next month. So smash the like button for me and make sure you're a subscriber if you're not already, because you're not going to want to miss out on all the great content I've got to come this year. And last of all, if you're not aware, there is now a feature on YouTube called Super Thanks. Now think of it as a bit of a tip jar. If I've saved you a load of money today, maybe you haven't had to call in an electrician or something like that, or maybe you just feel generous, then I appreciate any tips that you guys leave. And anything you do tip does go into the channel and it allows me to make more great videos like this one. So that's it on the DIY Guy. Thanks for following along and I'll see you guys in the next one.